new video. Today I have for you a haul video. I feel like I haven't done a haul in a long time and I don't really like to just kind of buy every month. I tend to kind of go out and when I need something I will then browse the shops and that's when I tend to buy some stuff. So I recently needed a white top and I had actually seen that a lot of the new collection had come into a lot of the stores and I decided it would be a good time to go out and head to the stores. So I have for you a haul, this time it's more of a high street haul. There's a bit more of like high end high street designers um, but nothing too crazily expensive. So I hope you enjoyed this video but before that don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. I upload twice a week and I would love to have you back on my channel so don't forget to ding that little bell uh, button as well so that you get a notification every time I upload a video. Okay, so we're going to start with Zara and I feel like I don't actually show a lot of like high street hauls on my channel and I do shop from the high street, I wouldn't say a crazy amount because usually I like to shop for stuff that I really like and I tend to invest in quality pieces because I use my clothes for years and years and years. I don't usually fluctuate in weight um, very much so my size stays pretty much the same. Um, so I tend to invest in pieces that I'm going to like for a long time. So the high street I would say is about maybe 10%, 20% of my wardrobe. But I saw that Zara, which is actually one of my favorite high street retailers, um, they had a lot of really nice stuff this season. So I thought I would go and have a browse and I can never have too many white tops and there are so many white tops out this season. Like I'm loving the whole poplin cotton um, shirt type top because I really like how structured those look and how they look. So there were some really, really good stuff that I saw in a lot of stores, um, but yeah, my favorite was definitely Zara. And the first item I have from Zara is this top. And this is a top which is kind of a cottony t-shirty material in the middle. And then the sleeves are like a cotton shirt material and then they have this frill on the sleeves and then it's kind of cut out so you can see a bit of your arm there and then it has like a cuff, like a shirt cuff on the end. Um, and this is in like light blue with stripes and then this is in like a, I would say more than like a t-shirt material, it's sort of like a sweatshirty material, it's a little bit thicker. Uh, than a normal t-shirt material, but I really like the fact that this is quite thick cotton. It drapes really nicely on the body, it falls really nicely, and it looks really good quality. Like I've said in loads of my videos, when you're shopping in the high street, it, the fabric is so important, because if it has a lot of fabric and it weighs, that means it looks like it's good quality. So I really like this, I thought it was a bit of a different take on like a shirt. I like the fact that this was very casual, like a t-shirt, but then the sleeves made it a little bit more interesting. Um, ruffles are so in this season and I love that little ruffle detail here. I'm not too sure about this cutout bit but we'll see how it looks on. Um, it has sort of a boat neck, um, not completely boat but it's kind of, it's bigger than a crew neck for sure. Um, so I like how it falls around here. I did try it on in the store um, but I'm going to try it on for you guys now. But I like how it falls around the neck area. I like that it's a little bit shorter at the front and a little bit longer at the back. Um, I think it's really nice for like casual days, like to wear with just jeans or like shorts in the summer. Um, and I think the sleeves add really something quite more interesting and a little bit more trendy onto the top than just kind of a normal plain white tee. Um, I'm not too sure about that opening on the sides and the frills sort of fall a bit funny on my um, sleeves. I feel like I need to kind of push them up for it to look better. Um, so I'm not 100% sure whether I'm going to keep this one or not, but I really do like the t-shirt part of it, the cotton. I think it's really good quality material and I love how it falls on my body. Um, so that's definitely a winner, but I'm not too sure about the sleeves. I have this one in an extra small and it is £26, well £25.99. Um, I got this in Zara. I will be linking all the items below if they are still available so that you can go and check them out. My next purchase is also from Zara and it is this top which is like a cotton poplin shirt in white. I know because it's white, the camera's probably not picking it up very well, but I'm gonna try on all these pieces and I'll show you. Um, this one is in a classic cotton poplin material. Again, it's pretty good cotton. It feels quite thick, it's not too flimsy. Um, and it's a long sleeve top. It has a really nice kind of wideish cuff. And I hate shirts with really, really small cuffs because I think that makes them look very kind of cheapy. Um, usually good quality shirts have like a wider cuff. So this one's got a wide cuff, which is really nice. Um, and then it has ruffles down the front on the sides. Um, and they go sort of all the way to the bottom because so that you can tuck it in. And then they go sort of at the back, halfway through your back. 
Um, and yeah, I really like it. It's got a crew neck, a round neck, um, and I really like the material. I love cotton shirts. I love that kind of cotton poplin shirt because I think it's really structured. It really suits me. I love the fact that the frills fall on my shoulders. I think it makes my shoulders look a little bit wider, which I really need because it just balances out my body shape. And ruffles are so in this season. I think they really make an outfit look a lot more kind of dressed out. It gives it a very feminine touch. It makes it look kind of very decadent and opulent um, rather than just kind of a plain top. So I really like the ruffle detail. Uh, I'm not sure if I love it with the long sleeves, but I think on the whole I really like this top I really love how it fits it has it's quite fitted around the chest and waist area and I think it fits really nicely at the same time it's a shirt so it's not gonna be skin tight um, which I quite like but it's fitted at the same time like it doesn't kind of fall weirdly and it just hugs your body in all the right places so I really really like this one and again the materials just fabulous and I love cotton shirts because I think it gives it kind of a very it gives any outfit a very kind of crisp and clean and put together look so um, I'm really happy that they're so in this season they are literally everywhere um, and yeah I really love this one again I got this in a size extra small and it's this one is for $29.99 also from Zara is this top that I got, which is also a kind of cotton poplin shirt. And oh my god, I've already stained it with makeup when I was trying it on. Oh, no! Um, but yeah, I really love this one. is very, very similar to the one I just showed you with the long sleeves, but this one is sort of with short sleeves. It actually is sort of sleeveless, but then it has this ruffle kind of sleeve that falls here and it makes it have sort of a bit of a cap sleeve. Um, and I really love this one. It's got a bit of a wider neck. It's not as, not as close of a crew neck as the other shirt. So I really like that a little bit more because I find it more flattering on my body shape. I love how the cap sleeves sort of make your shoulders look broader. And like I said, that always really suits me because it balances out your body shape. It's not too long. Um, it is a little bit shorter at the front and a little bit longer at the back, which I really like if you're not going to tuck it into your trousers. And again, and it has this button detail here on the shoulder, and then it has ruffles going all the way kind of around the front area and right to the back, um, but there's no ruffles at the back. So I really love this one. Again, it's a very good kind of cotton material, a very um, crisp look to the shirt. Um, the cotton doesn't feel too flimsy. It's not as thick as the other shirt, but it still doesn't feel too flim flimsy or too see-through. And I really love this one. I'm definitely keeping this one because I think it's so, so flattering. And I think you can wear it with jeans, with trousers. I love it with like beige trousers in the summer. So I think I'm going to get loads of wear out of this one. And this one was on sale and it was only $12.99. So I am super, super happy. Um, and this one is again in an extra small. Finally from Zara is a this beauty, which is this jacket that I got and I featured this in a blog post already so I will be linking that blog post below so that you can see the pictures because the pictures show it off a lot better. It has sort of a crew neck but it has no button so you can leave it kind of open and it has this beautiful ruffle sleeve, a very, um, it's sort of a bell sleeve but with a ruffle detail at the bottom, very, very Roxanda Clinic inspired. And the jacket is completely straight, sort of a crepe material, and it's very, very thick, which is nice because A, it keeps you warm, and secondly, it makes it look really good quality. Um, it is lined all the way through, which again makes it look a lot more expensive than it actually is. Even the sleeves are lined, which is really, really good. I love the colour. It came in like a pink... Um, a black, this white, and I'm not sure if it comes any more colors. I was in between the pink and this one, but I think this one would be more versatile because white just literally goes with everything, and I love the monochrome look, although the pink was very on trend. So if you are thinking of going a pink coat, this one's beautiful. It fits really beautifully around the shoulders. The tailoring is really good, and actually, Zara do really good tailoring when it comes to like blazers and coats and stuff like that, and it fits really nicely on my shoulders, and that's very important when you're buying high street um, kind of jackets or blazers because they need to fit right around the shoulders or otherwise they look kind of ill-fitted and that doesn't make them look very nice. Um, and it's really nice. I love the fact that it's straight because it's really flattering and I think it would flatter lots of body types. I think you can definitely dress it up or down. In my blog post I wore it with a pair of like boyfriend jeans so it was quite dressed down. But I've worn this with like more fancy dresses like for the evening and it looks amazing. I think it's a great cover up and in England where it's literally cold till August um, it's amazing. Chilly summer nights or like when there's a bit of a breeze it's great and I love it for spring. Like spring coats are honestly one of my most favourite things to purchase. I think they're so versatile and I think they just add 
so much to an outfit, like you can have a really boring simple outfit and you add like a nice coat to it and they just kind of instantly look a lot more put together. Um, and I love this detail on the sleeves, I think it is so trendy and I love the fact that it's really really well made, the material looks really good quality and this one is in a size extra small again and it is for $79.99 and it was in a bit of a sale so I was really really happy and I love the fact that it also has pockets. Moving on to um, something I bought on Net-A-Porter are my boyfriend jeans, which I have been loving. I have to say I have already worn these. Um, and these are the boyfriend jeans by Frame. And these are sort of skinny boyfriend jeans. And I was kind of not very on board on the boyfriend jean trend. I thought they would never really suit my style. I'm quite classic in my dressing style and quite feminine. And I thought, you know, a baggy pair of jeans is just not going to look flattering on my body. It's just not going to go with my style. But I saw so many people styling them up with style. Letters. Because with um, skinny jeans, if you fold them up to show off your ankle, which is something I really like to do because I think it looks very flattering, I actually find they make your legs look really kind of chunky because they're so tight at the bottom part of your leg that they don't look very nice kind of folded up. So I thought boyfriend jeans would look much better because they are sort of looser around your ankle area and these are specially designed to actually fold them up and show off your ankle. Um, they are not cropped but um, they're not too long so I'm not very tall, I'm about 5'5 five five, and if I fold them up they hit just in the right spot just above my ankle. Um, and I really like them, they're in sort of a medium wash. I didn't want anything that was kind of ripped just because it's really not my style and it's hard to find jeans that aren't ripped believe it or not. Like all jeans right now are ripped and I was so happy to find these that are not distressed denim. Um, and yeah, I really, really like them. They are so comfortable. They fall quite low down on your hips. Um, and I really like that. And they're not too baggy. They are sort of a good compromise in between skinny jeans and boyfriend jeans. They're like a skinny boyfriend fit, like a slim fit for boyfriend jeans. Um, so they're quite straight. They are quite a figure hugging in the hip area. Not too tight, not, not kind of skin tight, but they're quite figure hugging on the thigh and hip area. And then they sort of go straight and they're a little bit looser at the bottom, which is exactly what I wanted. I find them so comfortable, like honestly, it's literally like wearing tracksuit bottoms, and I think I'm gonna get so much wear out of these. I absolutely love them. I think they look amazing with stilettos, they look great with sneakers, they look basically good with everything. Um, so I think I might be getting one for the, uh, the winter as well, but at the moment I am loving these, and I got these in a size 23, because they're quite loose fitting, so you need to size down one. Um, and these are the Les Garçons, um, jeans and I think these were £215 on the net a -Porte site. Next up, I purchased some stuff from a Spanish designer called Adolfo Dominguez but they also have a store here in London. Um, I actually bought this stuff online so I'm going to link everything below and their customer service is honestly amazing so definitely feel free to order online. And the first thing I got was this shirt, again another white poplin shirt but this one has sort um, got of a boat neck and then it has a belt that goes around the front. Um, this is not a very good shirt to show you like this. I'm going to show it on me because it's really hard to show you like this but basically it has a belt that you can tie at the front and make it into a bow um, and again it's like in a nice white crisp cotton material and I actually hate the way this one looks. I think it's super unflattering on my body. I really liked it when I saw it online um, on the model, but unfortunately on me, the neck just looks really loose. It doesn't look very nice. I love the kind of oversized cuffs, but unfortunately the fit is just not very flattering. Around my chest area, I feel it looks very, very loose. Um, and the bow just doesn't look very nice when you're tired. It kind of creases the shirt. Um, and especially the neckline, it's just um, kind of, it doesn't sit right, it's sort of not, um, it's not enough of a low cut, but it's also not kind of close enough to my neck, so it just looks a bit weird, and I think it just looks really frumpy, so I really don't like this one. Um, but yeah, this one was from Adolfo Dominguez, and it was in a size 34, and I believe this one was like £125 or something like that. So for the price, to be honest, I don't think it was worth it. Next up, also from Adolfo Dominguez, this other white cotton poplin shirt which I have seen very, very similar in Carolina Herrera, and this one's literally like half the price. This one is also, this one is in a size of 36 actually, and I don't know what the price is, but I think it was also around the 120 something. I will link all the products below, like I said. Um, and this one has the really cool balloon sleeves, which again are really in the season. And it's sort of an elbow length sleeve, and then it has sort of this wide cuff on the elbow. And I think the sleeve is so nice. I think it's so, so flattering. Again, really good crisp cotton. The material is really good. Um, it is quite thick. And it, this, this brand is really nice because it's sort of high street. 
Um, it's not as expensive as high-end designers, but the quality is honestly amazing. Like it has the quality of high-end designers and it, the cut and tailoring of high-end designers. Like if you haven't tried it off for Dominguez, they make amazing, amazing blazers and suits. Um, very good, very good cut, very flattering on the body. Sort of a high-end, high street, sort of luxury high street. Um, something like Reese would be in the UK. Um, it has a collar that you can sort of keep up or just fold it down like a shirt collar. Um, and yeah, and it's sort of a very boxy fit, the shirt. It's not meant to be skin tight and I really like it. I find it super flattering. I like really boxy fit style shirts, especially to wear with like skinny jeans. I think they look really, really flattering. And yeah, I really love this one. I like the V-neck as well. I think it looks really good. Um, I'm not too sure about the neck. It sort of flattens out a little bit, but maybe it just needs a bit of ironing and then it'll look much better. So I think I'm gonna keep this one because it looks really, really flattering. And finally, from Adolfo Dominguez, this top that I am wearing right now, which is a sort of blouse, and it has the sleeves in like a cottony t-shirty material that's a little bit see-through, and then it has these oversized cuffs. Um, and the cuffs and the front of the shirt are in a more of a crepe material um, and then the sleeves are in a more cotton material. I have to admit that it's really comfortable because the sleeves are very flexible um, just like a t-shirt but I don't love it because it's very thin cotton and it almost looks like it's not very good quality. It's a little bit see-through. I do love the oversized cuffs um, and I like this v-neck at the front. I like the paneling at the front. It looks very nice but I have to say the v-neck is a bit weird. I think it needs to be a little bit lower cut because it just seems like it's kind of been sewn up. It looks a bit, it falls a bit strangely. I do like the kind of neck though that it sort of goes a little bit higher up here. I think it looks very flattering, but I'm not sure about this one because the v-neck just, find, I find it that it just falls in like a weird place. I do like the fit though. I think it's very flattering. Um, it sort of hugs you in the right places, but at the same time, it's not kind of skin tight, which I don't really like with tops. So I'm a bit unsure about this one. So let me know in the comments below what you think. I Should I keep it or should I return it? So that's it from me guys, those were all my purchases that I did recently, I hope you enjoyed this haul. Please let me know in the comments below what you think I should keep and what you think I should return. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and thank you so much for watching, bye!